D Low here. What's going on? Alright, so um I read an article last night on ESPN where uh they was basically saying should Deontay Wilder take the uh, step aside money that allowed Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua to happen, or should he uh, pursue the third fight, which is contracted, and try to avenge his loss and recapture his WBC title? Okay. Now, in that article, Steve Kim. Um, I, I can't remember who the other guy was. I'm gonna try to look it up right quick. But anyway, Steve Kim, basically, you know, his first his first response was, yes, Deontay Wilder should step aside and allow Tyson Fury and um, Anthony Joshua to fight. And one of the reasons that he cited was he he basically said that um, if Deontay Wilder really wants to make some money, big money then he'd take the step aside. And this is what he was saying. He said that for Wilder um, versus Fury, the third fight, uh, there wasn't a whole lot of interest right now because of the way Fury dominated Wilder and that um, the fight was um, would only get bigger the longer the two of them stay away from each other. Um, he also, basically, like, there's not really any buzz. The fight's not really going to be are going to sell big and that he could get more money by taking the step aside money then later taking the Fury fight. But I find it interesting that th they can make these type of comments without knowing the intricacies of the contracts. They don't know what kind of guarantee Deontay Wilder was given for a third fight. They don't know what kind of uh, money, you know, that um, the fight can generate. You know, they're just saying it's based on what you know they're feeling but in reality you know with uh boxing being on the like every other sport being on timeout you know we don't know what's gonna happen now me personally i don't want to go right back into boxing and spend money on pay-per-views but at the same time i already know and knew ahead of time that this fight was going to be a pay-per-view fight and that um it it was supposed to happen around a certain time frame, but they got pushed back and now it's projected to happen around another time frame. And I'm already aware of that and I already have planned to purchase that fight. Now, a healthy undercard will make me feel better about it, but I just feel like, um, you know, for these guys to say the things they're saying, it's, it's always some kind of, you know, um, Deontay Wilder should do this, should do that, but it's always something that's in favor of someone else. You know, the reality is that uh, Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury could have fought a long time ago. Okay? They chose not to fight each other. Their teams chose not to make the fight. Make the fight. You know, they could have fought multiple times, but they haven't fought. Okay? But now, uh, also, Wilder versus Joshua could have happened. And even when Deontay Wilder had the rematch with Tyson Fury pinned and Tyson Fury had this ugly cut that they were unsure about if it was going to heal, that these same people weren't pushing Tyson Fury, saying, hey, Tyson Fury should take step aside, let Wilder go ahead and fight Andy Ruiz, and Joshua take step aside, let, let Wilder fight Ruiz for unification, for undisputed. Neither were they saying, once Joshua reclaimed the titles from uh, Ruiz, Okay, we missed the boat on Wilder versus Joshua once. Let's go ahead and make this happen now. They weren't saying that. They weren't saying any of that stuff. It was like Fury versus Wilder's contract, and that's what needs to happen. But And that was with Fury coming off a nasty cut. But now Wilder's had surgery, and he, he took a loss. And it's like Wilder uh, may need to take a, a tune-up fight and because he's going to make some changes to his camp. He needs to do this, he needs to do that. Well, Tyson Fury made a change to his camp, and he didn't have a tune-up fight in between. He went right into the Wilder fight. So it's like, why is Wilder always advised to take the path of least resistance or take the um, path that opens the door for someone else to get what they want, but not when it was the other way around? There was there was no, hey, this is what Wilder, this is what they need to do and let Wilder have this fight. So uh just want to speak on that double standard. I think it's some uh, nonsense.
think Wilder he will go ahead with his plans. And um and I'm hoping that um these guys find something else to talk about because it's getting tiresome of them always having something negative to say about Deontay Wilder and what he should or shouldn't be doing. The man said he bailed himself once, he bailed himself twice, he bailed himself again. D-Lo 404 Boxing, I'm out, peace.